All right, so before we get into the next topic, Kevin, we've got a giveaway on Angry Snowboarder VIP for one lucky member. There's about 100 people on there, and I'm on randomnumbergenerator.com. 1 to 100, generate number 31. I have no clue who 31 is, but we will see in order of people joining who number 31 is. And then I'll contact them on Angry Snowboarder VIP. And this is why you should join Angry Snowboarder VIP on top of being able to get stickers or discounts. We just gave away something. We literally are giving away a apparel prize pack. So, yeah. Anyways. All right. I think a lot of people have been waiting for us to talk about this one. Yeah, they have. Forum's back. So special sort blend. Of. Sort of. A special blend in Foursquare. Yes. And by back, I mean someone someone had enough money that Burton licensed them the trademark. Yep. And somehow the house already has 2019 snowboards. So the interesting thing, I don't know if you caught this, but those graphics are the 2014 graphics. Oh, really? Yep. I didn't realize that. I was looking at it, but... I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the Destroyer graphic, what was going to be for 2014. The was year that, that they discontinued Yeah, it? the year they discontinued, because okay. they produced a few of them, and you could buy them on Blue Tomato that year. They were real yeah. forums and everything, but they didn't have channel. That yeah. was the big thing I noticed on these, they which there's only a couple factories that could be coming out of that. Well, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's coming out of Mousen. And- in China, yeah. which is the same place that does Signal right. and Endeavor. That's what I figured. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but uh, yeah, that was the big thing. So a lot of people have hit me up about this. And I, if you follow us on Instagram or follow Angry Snowboarder on Instagram, you know I put something up about Reflection brand, Brands buying the trademark. Special Blend never made fucking goggles, ever. No, never. And would never sell them for twenty eight ninety nine. No, that's insane. That is an open mold goggle off of Alibaba. Oh yeah, or some shit. Like it's not a no. Don't no. Like that was never a Special Blend. They never made fucking goggles. No. no. And it's funny if you go to Reflection Brands Instagram or something. I was digging around, and it was like it's. It literally looks like it's some dude in Encinitas or somewhere in SoCal, somewhere near a beach. But he's got a printing press that, or like a screen printing press for shirts, and he's just doing the generic forum logos on stuff. Yeah. And the other thing is, there is clauses on the website that say, do not confuse us with Burton. This is no no subsidiary of Burton. We haven't, and they have like a no compete clause with Burton for the forum stuff. And it's, it's just so fucking mind. Which is strange to me that he has that up there, and yet he chose to have the boards made with channel. Yeah, that is that's I, self-contradictory to be like, we don't want to be associated with Burton at all, but we're going to be the fourth brand to use Burton's channel. Like, well, technically I mean, they're the second because Forum had it back in the day. Well, kind of. I mean, Forum had the double channel, so did Capita. No, n- no, but I mean, there was a year that they did channel on some of their models. <sighs> Was there? Yeah, I don't remember. I'm that. pretty sure there was. It wasn't on all of them, but they, they had a few. Yeah. Because, like, some of the women's stuff had it. I remember Maybe. that. Um, but, but either way, the Youngblood and the Destroyer definitely didn't. They went out no, with, four, with four pack. Those were always four, four pack. Yeah, yeah, two by four and yep. pack. So to see this back. And the funny thing is, their website claims that one of the original Forum 8 is going right. to happen. And I was like, well, Devin's taken care of. Yeah. Jeremy Jones is taken care of. Yep. Bjorn's still over at Rome. Yep. I was like, you know, Yanni... Um, Yanni, like, isn't... He really even in snowboarding at all. Well... I mean, he kind of is, but... Are we, which... Are we talking Yanni Malmi or Yanni... Yeah. Malmi. Malmi? Yeah. He's still riding for DC. Is he still riding DC? Yeah, and Mackinnon is... Uh, I think he's handling, like, C3's distribution over in Europe or something. I think okay. he's working with Capita or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So it's like, is it Peter Line? Right. Who's doing great? He's doing design stuff for, he was for Dekine, I think. So, like, and Pete, like, I mean, there was so much about that when Burton got rid of form of, like, give it to Peter, give it to Peter, and Peter didn't want it. No. So, that, like, that doesn't make any sense to me that he wouldn't have wanted it when it was basically, when everyone, the whole industry more or less was trying to hand it to him. He was like, no, I don't want this. Yeah, I'm, I'm and then suddenly to... now he does? That doesn't make yeah, any right. sense. Is it, is it Mac Dog? <laughs> Fuck right! Did he, is he is he gonna start? Is he gonna make true true life two? <laughs> yeah. Like where's Bozum? Yeah, you know, right? like come on. Um, 
this it's it's just super it's weird. So weird. It's such a weird statement to yeah. see that. And, to and think, it could be complete bullshit. He could just be whoever is doing this could just be complete bullshit with that line just to try to get people to Oh, it's a cash it. grab. It's a cash grab, 100%. Yeah, it, it, it like this dude is. this dude has no love of forum because if they no. did there wouldn't be there wouldn't oh, twenty dollar goggles and fifty dollar pants. That's not yeah, no, the they're, they're that's the not fucking special outerwear, brand, the like, special blend of outerwear dude. for fifty dollars. I was like, oh my god, this stuff is just garbage. Bottom of the barrel. I was looking at, it, I was like, oh, this is just. Went to Alibaba, found a factory, yep. fucking slapped his logo on it. I was like, I've seen that generic from so many different companies. Yeah. And they're always like, it's the same thing. They always hit me up. Would you be willing to like review this for us or do that for us or do this? And I'm like, no, no. It's it's one of those things where it just – they keep putting it out. It keeps trying to do things. It just doesn't fit. No. It doesn't fit. It doesn't make sense. No. Those brands – like I don't have a problem with somebody trying to bring back the program. But this person is not bringing back the program for snowboarders. He's bringing it back to make money. Yeah, it's quickly it's not, and then die off. It's not forum forever. It's no. price point forever. Yeah, that's. I mean, I was like, surprised the boards were four forty nine. I was. Like, I know when fuck. I saw. Yeah, when we saw them, when I saw them pop up on the house, I was pretty shocked at the pricing. I was really expecting these things to come out at like two fifty three hundred bucks. Oh yeah, no, I, these so are going to be like, like, like a, the pretty damn close to what they would have sold for. What they would have sold for had. You know, had forum continued on, I was a little shocked at that. Like, yeah, the four forty nine to four eighty nine. At the same time, point. like you are going to get some skepticism from anybody that remembers forum if you are trying to sell boards at four hundred bucks or at sorry at three hundred bucks, two hundred fifty bucks. Right. You see a destroyer for that price that's supposed to be twenty nineteen. You, if you know anything about snowboarding, you're going to know. Well, that's not real forum. Well, the other thing was that young blood. They're claiming that it has pop rods. Dude, the. Um, the core in the destroyer, it's a they're claiming centered base. Yeah. They're claiming a full poplar core with Polonia insert, like right. inserted. In, I'm pretty sure. If I remember right. Um, Let's look it up. Maybe I'm confusing this with Chamonix, which we'll get to later. Um, but yeah, I feel like I remember looking up the construction and it was like real snowboard construction. So like, I don't know. It's frustrating because if it's being made at that factory and if it's using the right materials, then they might ride good, but. I'm still saying, fuck it, do not buy these because I don't want to support this person. Like, you know, see, we've we've had our topic of nostalgia. We've gone over that. But, and, you know, generally speaking, both of us are kind of like, fuck it, we don't really give a shit about nostalgia. But Forum is kind of one of those things where... It don't, didn't need to come back. Don't fuck with it. Do not fuck with Forum. That's not okay. Like, they were, they were something special in the snowboard industry, you know, I, I was bummed when they died. Like, there was something special to Forum. The movies, like, those are still some of my favorite movies are all the Forum movies. So, don't fuck with Forum. That's fucking with snowboarding and, and like, the core of what snowboarding is. So, yeah. No. So, like, so here, okay. I'm looking at the Destroyer right now on the house website. So, Profile Camber, Shape Twin, Core, NAR, L-E. Right, which that was a name of their, like, all this marketing is from Forum. Right. Laminate, light triax base, formula base. That is, uh, is that, that the is that a base? Isn't that a Burton specific marketing name though? I don't know. I can't remember. Then it has the new car bombs, and it's part of the Swingers Club, which Swingers Club they instituted the year before they went out of business. Right. So this that, is like that is all like actual forum marketing tech. Yeah. So and I'm kind of wondering. Grand, Grand Pops was or so, I think Grand Pops was on the. Uh, Youngblood. Let's see. Let's which see. is what now is now Burton Pure Pop. Grand Pops was before Pure Pop. Burton took that from Florida. It's got Booter Boosters, Swingers Club. Yep, and it's got the new Grand Pops in it. Yeah. I wonder if they just bought a bunch of stuff that got made in closeout. Yeah. Well, yeah. I like. But I thought it. I just can't imagine it would still be sitting southern. around. I thought it all got liquidated to the Southern Hemisphere. And the and but again, channel on it. Channel. Yeah. Which it didn't. Even the 2014 stuff that I was seeing on like Blue Tomato that. That following year, when Forum was gone, was still 4x2. It wasn't Channel. Right. They didn't move to Channel for 2014. Oh. Uh, Destroyers and Young Buds, at least. Right. Or and Scallywags, for that matter, which we haven't seen come back quite yet. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. And, I mean, and it's funny, because when you're on the house and you're looking at Forum, I mean, they've got they got boots for twenty nine ninety five because they're on Blowout. Like, the old Aura boot. Yeah, the old ones. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all that stuff that's... <clears throat> 
on there, and then it goes right into Destroyer and Youngblood. The Youngblood at 399 and the Destroyer at 449 I mean, this is just... Oh, man, it blows my mind. It just... Like, why is this back? I know. Like, I really would like some answers on this. <clears throat> Somehow, one way or another. All right. Do you know who is bringing back for him? Leave us a comment. Well, it's Reflection Brands. Right, but who's, like, truly behind it, and why? Do you, like, do you know this person? Can you get, to, get us some answers. I want to know what the fuck is behind this. Like, well, I, I just mean, love that outside I... of it being the cash grab, like. Well, at least I pop up on the first page. Well, that's good. Yeah, from <laughs> an article from 2012. Probably talking about the death. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I think 2012, wasn't that one Burton bought him? No, that was the last year of them. When my first year back here was the last year of them. Oh, really? It's been that long? 2012? Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah, the 12 13 season was their last season. Mm -hmm. Well, still, here's the thing that blows my mind is like being able to go on Amazon and it just blows my fucking mind. Eighty nine ninety nine for a jacket. Like, special blend. I think the cheapest you could ever find anything was they had a pant. They, the last one of the last years that they were around because Dave Friend was working with them, mm -hmm. they did a line of stuff that was like ninety nine dollars and it was ten k. It was either eight or ten k, I think. And, but yeah, this one it's like special blend men's snow jacket, water windproof, ten k nylon Oxford fabric, keep warm thermal mesh lining with insulated hood, tech snow skirt and ninja cuffs, critically taped seams for added waterproofing. Ventilation system for easy cool down. Easy access media goggle pocket with mesh interior dump pocket. Best use skiing, 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 snowboarding, <laughs> snowmobiling, snow sports, and other winter outdoor sports. You, I fucking hope you die. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see what we got down on the. No customer reviews and no questions. I should write a question and be should like, question. I should just, I should just start trolling them on Amazon. Like, could just be like, I'm a professional Amazon reviewer, but I mean, this stuff is just so, ah, just such bullshit. Like, I don't know. It's almost as good as the guy that bought GrenadeGloves.com and right? turned it into a review website. <laughs> Dude. Come on. The funny thing is they've got a men's P4 control jacket from 2009 on here for $99.99. It's more expensive than the new than stuff. The new stuff. Yeah. It's probably also better quality. Um, yeah, just fucking what the fuck? Like, I just want to swear and scream and punch people. Let's see yep. what your Facebook says. Cause this ought to be interesting. Oh, I have to log in. I don't want to log in. <laughs> it requires work. Ah, uh, here it is. Let's check out their website. Welcome to the future home of special-blend.com. Oh, there's no website there. Let's check out Reflection Brands. But this is, I mean, this is just so... It's so out of left field, too. Like it came I, out of fucking I just, nowhere. like, I couldn't believe... Was, like, like, it came out of nowhere when we first saw that the program was going to come back and that I had the whole website and it was hard goods coming soon. And then out okay. of nowhere, suddenly they're at the house. Yeah, that was, that, like, what was it, three, four weeks after I mm -hmm. announced it on Instagram? So, I'm on the Reflection.com website, so it's R-E-E-F-L-E-C-T-I-O-N, it's Reflection. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Not Reflection. Uh, and the first one I see is Rinse Hanger, then it's Nice Rack, Special Blend, yep. Forum, Foursquare. Yep. So... They're a hanger company, which maybe they should take that hanger and perform an abortion on themselves and get rid of Forum. Mm -hmm. Oh, October 27th, 2018, they have a blog post with Forum. It's really real, for real, though. Well, I want to read this. Let's see what they have to say. By now, you may know that Southern California intellectual property attorney Joshua Schoonover has filed trademark applications to register the marks Forum, Foursquare, and Special Blend. Oh, fuck that guy. Yep. Shunover him. has licensed the right to these marks to reflection brands. So, reflect. So, so someone else licensed them, then sold them. Yeah. 
You may be confused and ask yourself, <laughs> doesn't the Burton Corporation own these marks? Well, no. They abandoned them in, in or around 2012, and by doing so, they opened the door for anyone to register these marks. Didn't you see the press release? However, Schoonover was first and has secured priority with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Burton has challenged Schoonover's claim to form in a trademark trial that is now pending, but honestly, the trial is probably nothing more than a formality. I suppose we will see in due time. Uh, they might have killed the brand, but I'm pretty sure they were holding on to the trademarks. Yeah, that was part of the whole reason of killing the brand instead of selling it to Sports Just Authority or, or Dick's was to keep it from being a basement brand. Okay, so the press release continues. To our friends and customers, we understand that the relaunch of Forum Foursquare and Special Brand may bring some controversy and buzz in the industry. You're not in the industry. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. And while most individuals are stoked and overwhelmingly supportive and positive, there are a few in the industry that want to keep snowboarding in the hands of the greedy corporate giants. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What? What, what corporate giants? Burton's a privately owned company, for Christ's sake. It's Literally a private company. So literally okay. Jake and Donna. Jake and Donna. Like, That's it. And they bought it because they didn't want K2 or anyone else to get it. Yeah. They didn't want Jart. Okay, so here it's a niche market, and if if you think they own it entirely, they don't want anyone else to play in the sandbox. There are more snowboard companies now than there ever were. The establishment feels threatened that we may take their market share. No doubt. No doubt there will be corporate trolls and Burton groupies spreading hate. Well, you might be a Burton groupie, <laughs> but I, I'm not. I, I wouldn't even call myself a Burton groupie. Like, I like a lot of the stuff that they're doing, and they're doing more on some facets of the whole snow sports industry than uh, any other company out there. But, like, even still, like, again, Burton's privately owned. They're not a corporation. However, remember who terminated the contracts of riders, laid off employees, and who unilaterally killed these iconic brands, or so they thought, in order to achieve their self-serving objectives. So, Burton bought for them what was like eight or nine years before they killed them. I think in it was six. Yeah, like something like that. Something like that. In order to keep them from becoming a Sports 30 brand. When Peter Line ran for him into the ground because he's a great snowboarder, not a businessman. No, Peter wasn't even running the company. I thought he was. was no, he people? was there. He was just a founder. Well, whoever was running it before, they ran it into the ground. Burton bought him to keep them from that happening, to keep them a true snowboard brand. So, And then they bankrolled them for the next six to seven years before finally being like, you they know what? They paid off their debt. We can't hold your hand anymore. And the snowboard industry right at that time was like kind of starting to get into a rough period. We saw a lot of small brands die right around that time. So... Sorry, like, if you're that bitter about Forum dying, maybe you should have bought a Forum. Yeah, no. That fucking oh, easy. Th this press release keeps going. This is a story of an underdog, a humble patron of the slopes, a regular guy who had an edge and saw an opportunity to bring back the brands he loved as a grom, and who is not afraid to take on the industry giant. Who the fuck are you? You're nobody. Go fuck yourself. For several years, we have been unable to access apparel, outerwear, and hard goods bearing our favorite marks. Instead, they have tried to cram Burton brand down our throats like foie gras. Google it. Shame on them. Most Burton, people know what foie gras is, but okay. Well, let's let's just be real here. It's Burton. They're literally the biggest and oldest brand that has grown. Like, I mean, yeah, there's Winter Stick. There's freaking Barfoot. Moss. The, the Moss, uh, Sims. Yeah. But how many of them have been able to stay at the top of the game? None. 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 Like, let's be honest. The snowboard industry as a whole would not exist without Jake Burton. Yeah. You can you can hate Burton all you want for dumb reasons. That's fine. But snowboarding would not be where it is today without him. Period. Okay. So it, this continues. We aim to provide access to goods which bear these iconic marks in part for reasons of nostalgia. Cash grab. Cash grab. In part to keep the story alive for future generations. In part to promote the legacy of these brands and the key players who we grew up watching and emulating. And in another part to energize a dying industry and to get people back on the mountain <laughs> and supporting small businesses who depend on winter snow sports for sustenance. Okay, let's just dissect this one right here. First thing I noticed, not once did he mention product, he mentioned multiple times branding. Branding. He is selling the brand, brand of yes. Forum, the brand of Special Blend, and the brand of Foursquare. He's not selling product. product. So Forum did a lot of revolutionary things yeah. in their stuff. Like, honestly, they did. 
and you know they they were the pre one of the precursor brands to getting us ICS. Right. They did a lot of stuff with their bindings. They did a lot of stuff with their boots. They did a lot of stuff with their boards. Yeah, the first couple of your boards, you might flex them on the die cut, might pop out, but whatever. Sure. You know, these things happen. But yeah. you know what? If you want to claim that you're going to bring progression back to us, first off, don't say that we're dying. We're in a state of flux. We will always be in a state of flux. Yeah. We are finally at a point where the largest generation of snowboarders, who this guy is part of, which is my age group and Kevin's age group, because we're about five and a half close years enough. apart. We're yeah. close enough. Um, but there's this age group difference. So what you get here is the largest group. Well, people tend to leave because they go and have careers. They go to college. They get married. They have kids. They are all now coming back with their children in droves. I don't care what anyone says. The data in the next five years for snowboarders is going to be an uptick. It's yep. not a downswing. And that's just how it is. We will have a generation of kids coming in whose dad got back into snowboarding and mm -hmm. dragged their ass back up. This is one of the first times that, like, snowboarding is not that old. So this is really, like, right around now is kind of the first time that all of us, like, all the people that were able to start snowboarding at a young age are old enough now that their kids are going to start snowboarding. This is the first time we've seen right. that start to happen, really. Well, the, I mean, we have seen, obviously, kids start snowboarding because their parents started snowboarding, but their parents started snowboarding when they were already 25 to 30. Yeah. This is the first time we've seen the kids that started at that time start having kids. Well, my boss. My boss is 48, 49, got his first board in 84. So he's that guy. Right. His kids are 5 and 7. Yeah, we start them late up here. Yeah, we do. And so his kids are five and seven. His youngest, his five-year-old last year was like, Papa, I don't want to ski. I want to snowboard. Mm -hmm. He was four and a half. So that ought to tell you what's going on. Yeah, you can't say any sort of trend. We haven't had enough time in, no. in uh, as a sport, as a activity to show any of those kinds of trends. Let's just yet. roughly say it was 77. So we're 41 yeah. years in. Right. But let's say as a snowboard industry, that would be 1982. That would be almost 36 years. Right. Because it's about the same age as me. Right. So there's that. But what I love is a dying industry. If it's dying, how come we're getting more brands than ever coming in? Mm -hmm. There was a contraction. It rooted out the weak. And this is how it goes. New people come in, they breed life. They bring it. They do it. And I love how uh, supporting small businesses who depend on winter snow sports for sustenance. Well, frankly, the whole paradigm has shifted. And if you want to claim small businesses, why the fuck are you selling in the house? That's, is that the largest it's one it's of one of it's one of it's it's, it's a yeah. big it's a it's big a massive online it, they, I mean they were before they were online they were a catalog store these guys have 20 I think 30 years of experience I mean the fact that they were able to buy Sierra snowboard at the yeah, end there and just insane. buy up their inventory and absorb it and everything I mean that's not a small like I don't know any small core shops like out of all my friends that run core shops or working core shops I don't know any of them that are like, oh, yeah, we're going to bring in this forum because we need these twenty nine ninety nine special blend goggles or we need these fucking – the gloves. Did you see the gloves? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Those gloves. I've got a set of those gloves from some other goggle brand, winter sports brand from China that sent them to me because they want me to review them. And I was like, I'll never wear these fucking things. They're no. pieces of shit. Yeah. Okay. So there's still more of this press release. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. We realize that if we are successful in perfecting exclusive rights to forum – we will have a substantial burden to make sure this is done right, and we look forward to the opportunity. On that note, while we cannot discuss much at this time, we have close ties with an original member of the Forum 8 who is actively advising us, is heavily involved, and going to help us do this right. Rest assured, we don't expect to bring back the original team. Well, no shit. I most of them are. I'd hope not. They're yeah. old. They're all retired. Yeah. They're like ambassadors now. Yeah. Like Bjorn is the only one going strong still. Yeah. Well, Devin, Devin's still doing some stuff. Devin, yeah, I can't can't fault Devin. He's yeah. riding a lot of power. Yeah. But we will have at least one of the Forum 8 bringing up the next generation of Forum riders. Uh -huh. To all who were let go by Burton when they killed the program, please reach out. Let's do this together. Well, I, I know a few of the people, and they're, they're very, very happy outside the snowboard industry making way more money. Yeah. To all loyal followers, we can't do it without your support. To those who don't That's know, absolutely true. this is really real for real. Reflection Brands.
guy won't even put his fucking name on it. What a chicken shit. Like, these guys are fucking chicken hawks, dude. Yeah. These guys are right up there with Ted Nugent. Like, <laughs> fuck these people. Yeah. Like, fuck them. I'm glad I found this, because I didn't realize that they had put this I up. didn't realize there was a full press release. Oh, I didn't see ooh, it either. Oh, we got another one from November 6th. So let's, uh, let's see what this one says. Okay, let's see. Okay, we are proud to announce that Reflection Brands has acquired rights to former Burton labels known as the program brands, including Form Special Brand for Square. Burton previously branded, abandoned these brands in an effort to refocus its commercial direction. An article describing Burton's decision to abandon these labels can be found here at Burton Press Release. Let's see where it takes me. Oh, Transworld. And what year was this print? If it'll ever load. Holy crap. Did they pull this down? Whatever. Oh, oh, we're loading. We're loading here. Maybe. Yeah, October 23rd, 2012. Burton realigns its family of brands. That's about for, right. Yeah. yeah. But, that sounds right. I mean, this is the original press release. Sure, yeah. Like, fuck this guy. Um, Reflections Brands has discovered and acted on an opportunity. No, they vultured. They yeah, vultured. vultured. That's what they did. They're a fucking vulture. To acquire rights in these forgotten brands, each of which is widely recognized in the snowboarding community, and we are proud to now have the opportunity to carry the flag forward. They were recognized, and then they died, and then there was a rest in peace forum. Yeah. Going forward, Special Blend will offer ski, ski and snowboard accessories, as well as clothing items and outerwear. Come on. Foursquare will offer outerwear and limited hard goods. Foursquare hard goods. Yeah. Forum Snowboards will be fully revived to sponsor up-and-coming athletes and will offer high-end snowboards, hard goods, and clothing slash outerwear. We are currently gearing up to release limited product in winter 2017. Wow. Wow. Came. You guys got a 1.21 gigawatts on a flux capacitor? <laughs> a full-scale launch is intended for winter 2018. Mind you, this press release came out November 6th of this year. So they're going back in time. They're going back in time. Actually, no. That says November 6, 2017. My bad. Oh, so it just took them over a year to actually come to fruition of what they promised. Right. But I don't believe that because last time I checked it, that thing did, wasn't posted. Yeah. But like, let's check the catalog over here and see. Yeah, you can do. backdate post. That's not hard. No, I know. I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Fundamentalist Snow Sports Glove, $24.99. Iconic zip hoodie with the special blend logo. $54.95. Ooh, we can get some board racks for ourselves. Ooh, yeah. The Optimus Goggles. Ski Snowboard Winter Sports Frameless. Ooh, they're $89.99 now. Wow, they raised their price now after I called them out. Fucking hope you suck dicks with your butthole. You Which, by the way, if that's the goggle I'm thinking of, you can buy it on Alibaba for $23. Bucks. With you your logo. With your logo. Uh, I think I've got two pairs of them from some miscellaneous yeah. winter sports company that sent them to us mm -hmm. to have me review. So, I mean, no. these guys, God, I want to reach out to that lawyer and see if I can get them to talk. Yeah. And just be like, record the conversation. I kind of want to get somebody from Burton in, in an interview on this. See what they're saying about it. Like, I kind of want to reach out on? to Dave Fred, the old brand manager that for... Too. Yeah. Uh, God, I miss Dave. He was the best. That was literally, like, not many people like Dave, I think, because he was kind of weird. But or maybe that was just my vibe with him. But he understood what Angry was, and he was just like, go do your thing, Angry. And I was like, I am. Then I'd be like, I'm stealing all these stickers over here. <laughs> and he'd be like, he caught me one time in the Burton booth. He's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm taking freebies. And I was just like over there with a backpack, just like shoveling anything I could in. He, like the one morning he catches me and he's like, what are you doing? I was like, I heard you had free food. And I'm just like shoving donuts in my mouth. He's like, D does no one pay you? And I was like, I make no fucking money. You know this. Yeah. Ooh, they got an Instagram. Let's see what their Instagram. 485 followers. Yeah. Ooh, they got a special blend. Dang, that might be more followers than me. Oh, yeah. Here we go. First comment on a special blend jacket. If y'all ever want to collaborate, I'm down for it. I respect y'all gear. Yule. Yule. Not even y'all. Yule. It's not even y'all. It's Yule. Gear and style. And then, oh my god. And how many people? It has no likes. 
no likes. Oh, special blend t-shirt. Let's see. So how many of those 483 followers did they buy? Probably all of them. Yeah. A lot of posts about nice rack, though. <laughs> get all, get us a surfboard rack. Fuck these people, man. These guys suck. Probably going to get sued by the lawyer because I keep saying how much they suck. Whatever. These guys are a bunch of fucking posers. We can have our opinion. I think I'm still under free speech, at least for now, until Trump fucks that up, but whatever. Yeah, no, this is... I'm glad I read that. I found that post. And yeah, read it. That was new. Wow. That's really eye-opening. That was... On this whole situation. I, brand. Branding. Branding. Not technological advantage. No, never said once about making good product. Never, nothing about that. Nothing about bringing back the top-tier product that was for them, the product innovation that was for them. It was just, we want to bring back the logos. That's, That's what it all is. it was. I really want to ride one of the boards. So if someone wants to buy it yeah. and send it to us, you, I'll put an affiliate link so we even get a commission off of it. Hey, there you go. There you go. But I, I yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe we do. Um, I didn't figure we would want to even keep it. Like we just like no, I, mean, I just want to from my it. point of view. Yeah, I just want to ride it, I and you'll get it. it back. So if you want, if you were planning on buying one of those, and you're okay with us riding it first. Or even second, I don't give a shit. Just fucking send it to us. Yeah. And we'll ride it. And yeah. I mean, and this is even one of those things where if he was selling real outerwear and real goggles, like if you really want to sell special blend goggles, I guess I really don't give a shit, except for the fact that they're just cheap open mold knockoffs. Like yeah, if no. you really wanted to make a real technological goggle, go through the right channels for it and make a real honest product and you wanted to do that, like I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with selling a special blend goggle. It's what the goggle is, in my opinion. And if this person was actually trying to come back and make real product, real good product with these brand logos and names, I wouldn't be happy still because fucking just leave it alone. But I'd be slightly less angry. But, yeah, no, I have no faith in any of this product at all. None. Like, no. it's all shit. I know it is. Seriously, why can't they just take their fucking hanger and cause an abortion on themselves? Like somebody really wanted to start a snowboard company using all of this open mold, open buy shit from China and didn't really want to do it because they didn't really want to try and create a new brand because they saw how hard that fucking was. So they were like, oh shit, we can buy the program? That's, that's their gloves right there for special blend. I had special blend gloves like 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. They were better than this. Yeah. Like, oh my god, dude. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck these people. Yeah. Maybe I'll go register for um, for M, <laughs> F O R hyphen E M yeah. as a brand, and I maybe I'll hit up GP eighty seven and make some snowboards. I mean, if you if you guys are behind me making a knockoff of a knockoff brand. I will do it. Or we'll just do four um F O U R U M. Four. Four um. Um. <laughs> for um. For um. We could do that. Yeah, no. Uh, four square, five square, because five's better than four. Yeah, there you go. Special blend. How about average blend? <laughs> average. How about blend. unblended? Unblended. Unblended. That could that could be our whole shtick with this. I just Fuck these people. And then we'll just be not the program. Oh my god, the best is going on their Amazon store. Why did I do that? <laughs> Ooh, bad idea. Special blend winter snow pants for skiing, snowboarding, sledding. Oh, sledding. Sledding. You can wear your special blend stuff sledding. $44.99 to $49.99. Yeah. Oh, they're selling the goggle on their website direct at $89, but you can get it for $19.99 on their Amazon store. <laughs> oh, man. God. Forever price point. Like... I, I'm seriously just going to make that into a shirt. Fuck this. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Can we all band together and make sure that this guy fucking loses? Well, he's going to... All he bought was an... Ex, he might have bought an expired trademark. I'd have to look a little more into it. Yeah, I'm curious how this is all how this goes, But it, it's kind of like... I feel like it's the same thing with like the Kemper rebrand, like Jib Hunt... I think he just bought a dead trademark, or the guy that got the grenade gloves. He bought the website because it died, but right. I, you know, I think the trademark's still active. But I'm, I'm pretty sure if I dug around, I could probably buy up like Look Snowboards or something. Probably, you know, go get some of these old ones. 
they're floating around. Maybe he bought a trademark because they let it lapse because they were just like, it's dead. Yeah. But if you're going to buy it and then come back and be in competition. But the fact that those boards literally have technology that was invented by Burton for Forum. Yeah. I think that's where the issue is going to be. And mm, so true. I'm almost tempted to just buy one of those boards just for the sake. I've got to figure out what the house's return policy is if I can ride it. Be like, if they've got one of those never bummer return policies, I will abuse it. Yeah. I don't even care. Fuck yeah. it. If I can't return it. They can afford it. it. If I can't return it, maybe I'll just fucking give the damn thing away. Yeah. Send it off to the Shred Foundation. Just tell Danny to give it to one of the kids. Yeah. Or something. Which, by the way, if you really are feeling thankful since it's after Thanksgiving and you want to help out a really good charity, I would recommend checking out Shred Foundation. They just updated their website. They have merchandise to buy. You can pledge a donation. If you're in the Beacon area of New York or around Wyndham, I believe it's Wyndham or Hunter, they're kind of in that area they are looking for volunteers so if you would like to help them and you want to give back to snowboarding i strongly recommend it just solid program solid people yeah just don't buy a forum well or do buy one through our affiliate link i don't know we'll make money yeah at least we make money on it fucking but seriously screw these people this that's probably one of the most frustrating press releases i've read in a long time it's long just like time. it just comes across as a pompous dickhole yeah that's not someone that doesn't come across as someone that wants to run a snowboard brand. That comes across as someone that wants to run a branding division that sells snowboards. Yep. Like, oh yeah, no. I mean, I'm sorry. I owned every forum movie at one point on VHS up to DVD. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got Forum Forever right behind Kevin there because there's a divider wall. I, I actually, actually have an unopened. Fuck it. Really? Yeah. Nice. I don't know. I was like, ah, I have two of these? I'm not going to open one of them. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, those movies were like that, and the forum team was always so fucking good, and the movies were so much fun to watch. Like, this just hurts. I want to know who, which one of the original forum eight it is. If it is anyone. If it is, it, watch it. It's going to be like one of the regional man ams that got into one movie and has three clips or something in yeah. true life. Yep. Or isn't Decade or fucking... Let's see what else. Maybe he's in... No, he wouldn't be in Forum Forever. No. But... Yeah. Because I know it's not... It's not Dev. It's probably not Duff. It's not Bjorn. It's not Jeremy Jones. It's definitely not JP. No. Uh, Peter would be the only one I could think of. Yeah, Peter's the only one we could come up with that isn't really attached to anything else right now. But, but again, he already's shown. He's already demonstrated a history of not wanting to be involved with it on his own. Watch, it is Peter. He's recruited Tidor. Fucking Tidor. They got Tidor, and uh, fuck if, they're if it's Tidor, the boards are gonna be fucking amazing. You're gonna have the most aggressive side cuts you've ever been on. <laughs> yeah. On, uh, and they're gonna get metal graphics next year. They're gonna have quick. metal graphics. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna steal everyone from Ride's team. Yeah. And, like, every regional man-am that is, like, should have been pro by now is just going to be absorbed. And they're going to throw millions of dollars at this. And and then it's going to tank horribly. And, it's gonna <laughs> and then Tito will move back to San Francisco or San Diego or wherever he's living. And make, what the hell? I don't, I don't know what he's Car doing tires anymore. or something? I don't know, I don't know what he's anymore. doing anymore. Yeah. I miss that guy. He yeah. always made me laugh. He's a good dude. He is a good dude. But... That is pretty much everything I can say on the topic. Of yeah. Fun. Like, I was going to do a whole video on this, but I... If you guys have any other further questions that we didn't get to on the program and forum and Special Blend of Foursquare and all that, leave them in, leave a comment on the video or yeah. send us an email, whatever. Ask, ask the question. Yeah, you can hit us up on yeah. the gram. Yeah, you can, anything, really. Um, yeah, you guys have been sliding into my DMs a lot lately. Mm -hmm. It's really... I've heavy. had a couple people. I do answer questions. So do I. Yeah. I answer everything. So... If, if it doesn't get answered right away, it's probably because um, if you see photos up from, like, any Vail resort, that means Ben's using the account, which, by the way, that poor, poor man had to work Black Friday. Yeah, he, we uh, we saw him on Wednesday uh, before, and he, he didn't have to go until 5, though. He had to work, like, 5 to 1 a.m. or something like that, but... Still. Still. It sucks. It believe sucks. Me. Yeah, it believe me. We need more members on Angry Snowboarder VIP so that the three of us... You've never met Ben. He's always yep. behind the camera. Yep. Uh, so we could have a full-time filmer editor guy. It would change everything. Mm -hmm. But 
I don't know. I'm going to put up a photo from his gram right up there. And that ought to pretty much sum up his Thanksgiving. Yeah. Meanwhile, I just went to a, I went to a restaurant and ordered two to-go's of a full three-course meal and ate it myself alone. <laughs> Solid. I don't so. like doing Thanksgiving with people. Yeah. Like, like that's... You know, certain people. No, I, you know, all the years that people invited me up here, it's just like, I realize I just don't like being in big crowds and I don't like having to make a big plate for someone, like, on their terms and half the time the turkey's dry. I will say this, Crowbar fucking made the best turkey when he was here. That one was good. Both of them. The two the years that he year, did it. The, the one year that I went. He, uh, he, he, they, he, well, he, he also said he spent like something like four hours brining it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah. So, um, it was but juicy. yeah, most, most of the times, like the last few years, people will invite me and like, I won't show up, but they'll send me leftovers or something. It's the fucking worst goddamn turkey I've ever had. Yeah. So, all right. I think that's pretty much everything that's I've got. It for, yeah. For him. 